Oh, Pisces, it's your girl, Sacred 144 Tarot. I'm here for another reading for you, Pisces. You can have Pisces anywhere at all in your chart. Do There you go, Osiris. I, I literally just wrote, a, I'm actually going to probably post it on here. I just wrote a post about Osiris channeling him, and there he goes. So there's a lot of masculine energy. Um, the masculine energy is rising in the collective, you know, so it's just an energy. You may be feeling it as well. And what I do want to say, too, is there is a lot of fire. There is a lot of warrior energy. And the reasoning behind that, we have Mars, which is aggression, fire, masculine energy. We have Chiron, which is the wounded healer, which is an Aries. You know, so there's a lot of purging right now in the collective, but that is bringing up the wounded healer, you know. And so that lion energy, the fire energy, the warrior energy um, is really rising in the collective. You know, um, you're really liberating yourself by freeing yourself from karmic cycles, from wounding, um, you know, so I'm sending you all so much love, Pisces. Thank you for the love that you pour to me in all the ways that you do. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me in Akashic Records where we could dive into your past lives and um, if you need soul retrieval, there's a lot that I do in the Akashic Records. It's 90 minutes uh, long and one-on-one, -on -one, so feel free to check out the box below. We have two more days until the Sacred Tarot course. We're going to be doing it with Earth to Kiki. It will be six weeks long. It's less than $15 a class, you know, um, and you'll be getting recordings of each class and then the content as well. And we have a 24-7 private group chat for all of us, you know, so feel free to also check that out because you do only have a few days to do that. I'll be making another post for it. We're going to go straight to the tarot, Pisces. I have 5% on my phone, but I did want to use the microphone. I'm going to be getting another one. It doesn't attach to my shirt anymore. And so I feel like that's why, too, my audio has been a little bit different. All right, Holy Spirit. Entering the mystery thought on the bottom of the deck. Right timing and direction. All right, Dove, Nethys, Isis. So that's a lot of feminine energy entering the mystery. And then right timing and direction. And then we have Thoth, illumination, wisdom. I feel like you're getting some sort of mysterious wisdom, mystery school energy. And the Ankh is in both of these. So the Ankh, life, really comes to mind. There's definitely heart expansions in the collective. I'm going to be getting some more energy. I feel like there's like a portal opening up. And as soon as I say that, I get a message. So I feel like there's like a portal opening up for you, you multidimensional Pisces. Uh, there's like a portal opening up for you that it's the right timing for that. It's like, I see like a doorway just open, whatever that means. Holy Spirit. What? So I have Horus, all right, and the wings of Isis. So we have awakening divine perception over here. There's a lot of wisdom coming in. Uh, I do feel like you're like in a portal, downloading this wisdom, crown chakra activations. Holy Spirit, what do you have? And Horus is the Christ consciousness. Horus is the, the sun, you know, so I feel like it's, there's something about you're getting downloads or some information, which can be in the 3D, uh, 333, or I feel like too, it's um, a lot of like spiritual downloads. One more card, Holy Spirit, for this message. Entering the mystery. I of Horus. Power over difficulty. Reclaiming your power. All right. Yeah, I feel like cycles are closing. It's like a new portal of doorways opening up. That's how it feels. Let me see how much battery I have. So if I do have to plug my phone in, I'll plug my phone in. Pisces. Um, but let's get this in. Holy Spirit. What's a one card energy that's entering the mystery? Eye of Horus. Power over difficulty. What's a one card energy for this reading? Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. All right. So I feel like these doorways are opening for you. It's like I just see like portals opening or like doorways opening. Some of you travel like different dimensions. 33 seconds as I say that. You know, so it's like you're in the 3D, but I feel like it's beyond the 5D. Like, it could be the 7D energy because we've been having 7D like activations. And yeah, why is the Seven of Cups here for this reading, Holy Spirit? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Hangman, Page of Coins, 
two of swords, page of swords. So I feel like communication's coming in. Page of coins, I see as a small offer. I feel like there was information that was blocked from you, Pisces. It says right timing and direction, enter the mystery. We have the hangman, which is switching perspective. That is your energy, Pisces. The hangman's also awakening. Uh, page of coins, I see it as a young energy. And then we have the two of swords. So I feel like something was blocked off from you. There's some sort of doorway or crossroads um, because it wasn't time. I feel like something's opening up for you or some sort of information or something's coming in because it's the right time. Why the two of swords here? Nine of wands, ace of wands, all right? Um, so the nine of wands with the ace of wands. I do see this as information, something coming in. A lot of fire energy again. Nine of one. Oh, look at that. She's holding a little child. All right. And so I do feel like, and it's the same girl from the page of coins, which is, you know, different suits, but it's like some sort of like level of maturity in your journey, in your life, maybe. All right. What's the hangman here? The queen of swords. In the page of swords all right so there's a lot of sword energy and we do have kalima here what's been coming to me is the sword of truth right and so there's some sort of spiritual truth there's some sort of truth maybe in the 3d that it wasn't time yet you know but now this is coming to you because it's the right timing you know so I, and i feel like doorways though in general are opening up for you all right why is the queen of swords here justice balance all right Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Could have been a karmic cycle. I feel like you're breaking out with the Eight energy. We have Justice. So Balance and Justice is here. And that's the Sword of Truth. That's literally the Sword of Truth, Justice. So the Sword of Truth could resonate with you. It was just coming to mind earlier. Why is Justice here with the Queen of Swords? Knight of Coins. Ten of Coins, all right? I do feel like something is slowly coming in. Like, I feel like it's like maybe like up here, but it's not in the 3D yet for some of you, or it's just taking time. Why is the Knight of Coins here for the Justice? Seven of Coins. Why the Knight of Coins with the Seven of Coins? The Magician. Queen of Coins, okay? Um, how much battery do I have? 3%. So if I have to, I'll plug in my phone. But um, I'm one of those people that my phone is honestly always almost dying. <laughs> Uh, Knight of Coins, Seven of Coins, The Magician. For some of you, this is like money that you're manifesting. Um, that some it had to be the right timing and direction. Seven of Coins, The Magician, because we do have we did have the Ten of Coins. Now we have Queen of Coins over here. And for some of you, the Magician energy when it comes to the, <clears throat> the majority and maybe the throat chakra too maturity we have little mice there too clarify the magician i said that because i my teacher had said something about magician energy yesterday nine of coins seven of coins the magician there's something about you when it comes to your spiritual mastery maybe you're a magician um but there had to be some sort of maturity in your path why the magician here knight of cups what's this knight of cups for the magician the queen of cups why the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Cups? Five of Swords and then Seven of Wands here. So, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups? King of Coins, all right? So, the King of Coins could be a job. It could be someone that's coming in towards Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Five of Swords, I see as ego games. It could be money too. Why is the King of Coins with the Five of Swords for the Pisces? What is Queen of Coins? And I get a message. That's my mom. My mom sent me a message to stop filming videos as I'm driving. <laughs> so when it comes to the Queen of Coins and the King of Coins, Five of Swords, I feel like someone's coming with an offer. Someone's coming with something. But that Five of Swords with that King of Coins is like some sort of like resistance. I see the Five of Swords as ego. I see it as all or nothing. Why is the Queen of Coins... The three of coins. 
Why is the Queen of Coins with the King of Coins here? Ten of Cups. The Empress. All right. So I feel like someone wants to work on something. I feel like someone's not letting something go with the Five of Swords, actually. And I feel like they're coming forward. It may not have happened yet. It may happen in time or whatever it is. 10-10. But Three of Coins, Ten of Cups. I do feel like someone wants to work on something over here. It could be family. Um, Ten of Cups could be just the home. You know, so this could have to do with business. It could be a loving connection. It could be your family. Why the Ten of Cups here? lovers all right for some of you this is like a loving connection and i do feel like someone's not letting it go someone the high priestess someone wants to work on something over here but i feel like there was a something about maturity that had to happen maybe for some of you you're like in separation and um coming together when the time is right two percent so i might i might take off the microphone i'll just try to talk about it um the lovers we have temperance over here so there's balance there, there's definitely balance i do feel like the separation because the eight of cups is on the bottom of the deck i feel like balance is coming in for a connection uh there's maybe some truth coming in maybe a conversation i do feel like someone wants to work on something though why is the temperance here with the lovers the six of swords coming out of troubled times all right um someone wants to come forth there might be some travel but I do feel like a conversation is coming in. Um, I do feel like it has to do with the right timing, Nine of Coins. I don't feel like it's going to be your timing. I feel like there's going to be some patience, Pisces, Ten of Swords. Because um, I do feel like maybe you or someone else or is working through some sort of pain, some something. Um, one more card for the Six of Swords. Knight of Wands, the High Priestess. Why the Knight of Wands? Four of Wands. All right. So I do feel like someone's passionate about you, Pisces, and they want the celebration. Eight of Coins and they want to work on things. Um, this could be business, but I am seeing like a loving connection too for some of you. Can I have, or they want to have a conversation about something. Can I have two cards of advice for the Pisces? Six of coins. I feel like an offer is coming in for you, Pisces. Again, I feel like it's God's timing and not yours. One more advice. Seven of swords, though. All right, so that's sneaky energy. So this person could be sneaky about bringing this in, or I do feel like there's just information you're going to receive. Again, I feel like someone just has some information or something that they're not saying or something. But it has to be the right time for this to come in. I'll clarify that. Sometimes the Seven of Swords isn't bad. Sometimes it's like, you know, for the greater good, there's something that's hiding. All right. Why the Six of Coins with the Seven of Coins? The Hierophant, the Emperor. All right. 33 seconds as I say that. So the Hierophant, uh, Taurus Energy. I do feel like it's God's timing. I do feel like the Seven of Swords is not bad, though. But I do have the Five of Wands down here. Um, it could be, and I won't say bad, you know, but I do feel like there's something, it's just in the right timing and there's, you have to be patient, Pisces, for this to come in. One more card for that Hierophant, Ten of Wands. You know, so I do feel like there's just, it's not the right timing for something right now. Uh, maybe some sort of information coming in. I do feel like you have celebration coming in, you know, but there's some sort of maturity for you to reach before you receive something or before you receive some sort of information so that you can be able to receive it. All right. Holy Spirit, what do we have here for the Pisces? I have one card for the Pisces. Maturity. I can't make that up, Pisces. Maturity. Maturity is needed for this, um, for this information, whether it be good or bad. Um, flowering revelation maturity truth is coming in but you need the maturity to be able to receive it so it's all coming in the right timing for you pisces discernment in reverse again clear vision details you know we've been having the discernment in reverse so i do feel like this information coming to you um i do feel like this need for you to be discerning as well flow letting go natural movement all right i do feel like you're getting information about a connection um, how it resonates with you, good or bad, has to do with your path. If you like a personal reading, feel free to click on the box below. We do have forgiveness over here, Jesus. Holy Spirit, what do we have? Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive, you know. So you are getting the advice to connect with heaven, to surrender, you know, and to talk to God, your spirit guides, whatever it is, um, for whatever it is that you do need. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonates with you. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings.